Necrotizing fasciitis will have a better outcome if it is recognized early and treated successfully. It presents itself as a cellulitis case and confuses healthcare professionals. Necrotizing fasciitis can spread rapidly and the condition of the patient can deteriorate even though the patient is in the hospital and under the care of the physicians. By the time we figure it out, it may be too late. A culture is usually obtained to determine the species of the bacteria present within the wound. Gram stain may show gram-positive cocci in chain, group A, streptococci, or polymicrobial. Necrotizing fasciitis is also called a flesh-eating bacteria or disease. It is a limp and life-threatening soft tissue infection. The bacteria produces toxins and spreads rapidly. There is also association between hepatitis C viral infection and necrotizing fasciitis. Hepatitis C viral infection is an associated risk factor. It also carries potential for a worse prognosis. Early diagnosis and adequate treatment is important to save the life or the limb of the patient. It usually occurs after a minor trauma. It may be associated with chronic diseases or illnesses, usually found in alcoholics, diabetics, after insect bites, or post-surgery. Mortality rate is about 33%. This is published data. It is underdiagnosed because it resembles low-grade cellulitis. Surgical treatment should be urgent. Delay in surgery more than 24 hours is associated with increased mortality. Diagnosis. Pain and tenderness beyond the apparent margin of infection is diagnostic and found in about 98% of cases. Group A strep is common, but other polymicrobial infection will start and involve the fascia, and the toxins will spread. Other findings in the diagnosis, and these are published data, include erythema 100%, polyformation less than 50%, crepitus about 14%, skin necrosis about 14%. Tachycardia, about 75%. Fever, 50%. Low blood pressure, hypotension, or we call it septic shock, is not very common. It's about 18%. Treatment. Early diagnosis is important. Aggressive and extensive debridement of the affected area. Always obtain a biopsy from the periphery and not from the necrotic center. Debridement should be repeated on almost daily basis. Give antibiotics according to the culture and sensitivity. You can use hyperbaric oxygen, usually the good result for cruciidal infections. There is a high incidence of extremity amputation if the fascia is penetrated by the infection.